don't want to hear If you give me a soul I don't want to hear If you give me a soul I can't get a girl 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 the chief priest of Ungeledu, the god of harvest, I greet you. Oluchi, what a surprise visit. I know that my visit to your house will surprise you. <laughs> but it's all for good, as if you want it to be so. Oluchi, I was ostracized by Izele people for taking them to court, thereby stopping them from destroying the shrine of Ngeledo six months ago. Calm down. No one saw me when I was coming. I was careful. I came to find out how the case has been progressing in the court since then. My sister, since then, it has been one adjournment after another. Well, after over 10 years of poor harvest and expensive sacrifices to Ngeledo. I understand why our people decided to destroy it on the advice of the new Catholic priest whose prayer miraculously changed the situation. What I don't like is they are not carrying you and your family along. Uh, well, I was told that you were forced by hardship to relocate your family to your wife's village two months ago. Hmm. Even there, it has been extremely difficult for them to feed well, let alone money to pay the children's school fees. As I speak with you now, all my children are out of school. Hey, what a pity. Hmm. Now tell me, is Ngeledo still powerful? Yes, of course. The entire royal family of Ezere was wiped out. After two months, the Igwe ordered the shrine destroyed. So what do you think was responsible for that? Well, I need the Galido's help right now. And for helping me get the help, I'll pay you one million naira. You are kidding me, right? Let us go inside and discuss well. It's urgent. Hey. 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 I Calm down, woman. The spell I'm about to cast on them will cover them from the eye of everybody till they get here. Don't worry, they'll soon be here. Edward and Olivia. Come back and come to this shrine now. Come! Booby. Get someone with something to eat. <laughs> Let's go. Go and hide. They will 
soon be here. Ngeledo has done it again. Just go. Yes, yes. Thank you. Elders of our land, I greet you. Now I've come to the conclusion that the will of the people is the will of the gods. My people, no point fighting the will of the people any longer. After all, Ngeledo is not my personal god. It belongs to uh, Ezra as a whole. I am only her chief servant by you people's mandate. Of a truth, Ngeledo has failed in performing the purpose for which it exists in our land. If you people really want it to be destroyed, I, Okonkwo, the chief priest, will lead the way right now. The case is still in the court, Okonkwo. Uh, don't bother about that. I've already notified my lawyer to withdraw it. What about the sacrifice? that needs to be offered before Ngeledo could be destroyed. That wouldn't be a problem. I have all the items required ready. If only you will permit the youth, I will lead the youth to the shrine of Ngeledo and get rid of it. The people's will must always prevail. All right. We have had you. We will rally around the use and we all will go together. Think about a future. Do you think about tomorrow? Hey, hey, hey. People of Ezere, you have spoken well, yes. and we have heard you. You have our backings. Take them to the evil forest and kill both of them. No! Wait. The punishment for any indigenous of our land caught having sex before a shrine or on a land belonging to the gods is that that person will either be given 16 strokes of cane every day for 10 days and also be starved of food and water for the same period of time. If he or she cannot stand it, he or she will be given the second option of spending one full year in a cage in the evil forest eating once a day. In both cases, the culprit will be sent 
on life exile if he or she survives it. The last and the third option is that the culprit will be buried alive. In each case, the choice is that of the culprit, not for us to make. Wise one, speak out. The abomination they committed is so that we all risk being wiped out of our own land. If full punishment is not meted out to them, but if we punish them without following the tradition, everybody that took part in it will die before they break. Is that what you want? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, quiet, quiet. Okonkwo, you said that the punishment is for the indigents alone. This young man is a non indigent What happens to him? In that case, he has before nightfall to leave our land, never ever to set foot on our soil anymore, or else he will be killed. If he chooses to stay, he will then suffer the same fate with his partner in crime. Olivia, you heard him. What is your choice? To be starved and flogged or to be sent to the evil forest for a whole year? to be buried alive. Okay. If she fails to choose for herself, then you can choose for her. Oh yes, oh yes. We are going to choose for you. You are going to be buried she, 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 she has chosen flogging and starving. She has chosen flogging and starving. Shut up, just shut up, just shut up. <laughs> See, that's what she has chosen. I'm ready to suffer it with her. Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. See, that's what you have chosen. And we're going to do it. I don't know how we found ourselves in that place having sex. But I know that one day the truth will come out. And since it's a crime we committed together, both of us will suffer it. We have chosen that. We are ready for the punishment. Okay. Osando. Obaka. Omuna. Take them away and detain them. Their punishment starts tomorrow morning. Now women, you may stay behind. And for the rest of the youths and elders, we are going to follow Okonkwo here. He will lead us to destroy Ngenedo immediately. I don't want to hear if you give me a soul. I don't want to hear you give me a soul. I get a cock and a walk, 
You are a very big disappointment, Okonko. I told you my main aim is for me to get Olivia killed. Why did you say what the things you said at the village square? Why? Ngeledo spoke to me in the realm of spirits. Just as we got to the village square, I was warned to say it. Otherwise, my entire family and I will die today. But I'm, I'm, I'm paying you very well for... Uh, would you allow your entire family and even yourself to perish for any amount of money? Hmm? Okay, where's my fee? Ngeledo's shrine has been destroyed. I'm leaving this village immediately. Why? Uh, to look for another means of uh, livelihood. Thanks for the money. To a little business. <laughs> okay, <fine>. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Are you full of looking nice? <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay, let's go inside. Oh, let's go inside. <laughs> what, 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 what is it? What, 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 what is it? I warned you about the consequences of what you did to that innocent girl, but you wouldn't listen. What? You mean that? I... Look, you can bribe the lawyer, the doctor, the police to do as you want and not the gods and the spirit of the dead. Well, I paid you very well to keep them in check and you told me you did. Yes, I did. Until you overstretched your uh, 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 lock by daring them directly. How could you bribe the priest to one of them to have it destroyed and save the gods to be in check? Now, the gods of Ezra are at war with you. You are lucky to see me alive today, and so am I. They have taken away most of my powers, and Okonkwa has also been killed by the angry uh, uh, Ngeledo. Should you ever set your feet on Ezere soil, the gods will kill you. But, but that is not possible, Adjohan. 
I have five million naira in my house. Chief Oguchi's original will and the video recording of how my husband killed them. They are all in my house. No. Uh, Ajani, please, I beg. Obukwa, uh, uh, I cannot help you. Woman, only a true son of Chief Ogushi can open that house. Anyone else that tries it will be killed by the gods. Only a true son of Chief Ogushi. But that is not possible now. They are all dead, aren't they? The gods have sent you on a lifelong exile, woman. Go and serve your punishment. How can, they, how can they just begin to send me on a lifelong exile? What, what about? I say go. That is not fair now. You should do something. I haven't consulted, I haven't given. Our son is only three years old. And we were in that public park to unwind with him this Sunday. Why he saw you lying unconscious under a tree, held on to you crying, refusing to go with us, even when we beat him up, is what I don't know. But whatever it is, um, the fact remains that uh, he succeeded uh, in forcing us to take you up. From what the doctor told us in the hospital, it's going to cost us more than 200,000 naira for your wounds to be healed. Coupled with the um, memory problem, as you can see, it's not going to be easy. But my wife and I have decided to carry the burden. Thank you, sir. Honestly, sir, I still lack the right words to use to express my gratitude. Um, Ma, sir, I say God bless you both. Amen. Amen. Um, I'm sure you must be very hungry. Hmm? Yes, sir. Uh, sweetheart, go and find him something to eat. Destiny can never disappoint What you make of it So be ours to the side Let's make this time Ie nini mere otu bo chonka puti Aruru ala hiri otu bo chonka puti Mpampa nini mara otu begin to tell me what happened in the village and why you are insisting that Andy and I should forget everything about traditional in our wedding plans and wedding in the church. Why? Has Andy gone? He has gone. I just saw him off. Mommy, what is going on? I don't know. All I know is that you and I must leave this country as soon as possible. What? Mommy, what about my planned wedding with Andy? He says He's a U.S. citizen, didn't he? Mm -hmm. The only dowry I need from him is an American visa for you and I. The wedding will take place as soon as we get to the U.S. Mommy, Mommy, what is going on? Does he have to do with the deaths in the family and Olivia's travel? Mom, do you have a hand in it? Will you shut up? Shut up your mouth! Get Andy to do as I said, and in, in weeks too, or I will not give my consent to that wedding. Mom? Mommy? I have spoken. I'm done with you.
Olivia. <laughs> Olivia. See, I beg you in the name of God, if you want me to survive this nightmare with my sanity intact, please stop crying for once. Stop crying. How can I stop crying? How can I stop crying? Will I ever survive this? <laughs> What a shame. Me, Olivia. Daughter of the richest and most respected man in a serie. Caught having sex in a shrine of all places. What a disgrace. Oh God, will I ever survive this? Tell me, how will I live with this stigma once this is over? How? Listen, it is still too long from being over. Leave what will happen and concentrate on the present. Listen, Olivia, I, ju I just believe that someone somewhere hypnotized us into that dreadful place and diabolically led us into having sex to be caught. It is indeed a wicked and diabolical conspiracy against us. And I believe whoever is responsible is most likely plotting more evil. So my dear, stop, stop, stop crying for the shame of what we were caught doing. Rather, cry for the dilemma we are facing right now. The, the helplessness. Cry for the innocent dead in your family. Cry for the innocent dead in my family. Let them just pray that we survive. Good. Did you also lose people in your family? Huh? Edward, talk to me now. Edward, who are you? I want to sleep, <coughs> I want to sleep please. Hey. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, um, yes, I appreciate all your effort. Thank you so much. As for you, Olivia and Edward, this morning starts you are choosing punishment for the abomination both of you committed yesterday. Um, Osando, Obaka, and uh, Omuna, you have to carry on. Take over. Ours is just to watch and direct. Oh, yeah? Elders of our land, please, as a daughter of this land, can you please just hear my own side of the story, please? Shut up! What do you want to say? Huh? All of us caught you red-handed yesterday. And you want to... Da, 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 da. Are you not ashamed of yourself for disgracing yourself with this ordinary stranger? I mean, a male pan wine climber. I am ashamed. Uh, but please, should you pardon me, please? I... In case you don't know, the implication of what you did is that you have lost every right in our midst that's our cause in fact even if anybody kills you now that person will be exempted from all form of punishment well i would only advise you to keep quiet don't talk rather pray to your god to come out of this alive you flog them Go ahead. Let her be. 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 Idiot. Let her be. I'll take it for her. No, no, you, 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 you can't do that. Listen, let me tell you something. Do not even try to stop me. If you allow this king to touch you, when this ordeal is all over, I will commit suicide. 
do, 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 do you want to have my blood in your hands? Do you? Edward, please. Do you? Edward. Then let me do it. No. I'll take it from her. Help! Hey, no. Don't flog it, please. Is it allowed? Don't flog it. it is allowed in our culture. You can take her inside. Take her inside. Don't flog it. 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 No. 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 Make sure your hands does not leave that chair until I finish flogging you. Now, kneel down and put your hands there. Oh, yeah, begin to flood the boy. Ada, Ada, shut up. Just, 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 just don't tell me to calm down, okay? Don't tell me to calm down. Why should your mother say a thing like that? Come on, what's going on here? What is really going on? I don't know. All I know is that my mom is not the type that bluffs. But please, you have to do everything possible to get the visa. And come to think of it, where we get married is not a problem. The most important thing here is that we ended up as husband and wife. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Am I sensing blackmail here? Clara? Uh, Clara. Who are you with? In this honestly I've come to love you so much this little time we've met but I, I I I don't see myself going ahead with that marriage if my mother would hold her consent because she's my mother I love her I love her too I don't know what really happened. But I'm sure it's something spiritual. It was a spiritual attack. You see, she has refused to tell her daughter and I what really happened. All of a sudden, she's back to the city, demanding for an urgent American visa to travel out of the country. <sighs> Coupled with everything that has happened to Olivia, I seriously suspect a foul play on her part. Could it be that she is behind the disappearance of Uchi and her husband? Well, as you know, in this business, we don't leave anything untouched. Chief asked me to watch her closely after you left for Obudu with Clara. The answer is yes. What? She used Ogu and Ozo. The very thugs who help us in carrying out our dirty jobs to do the killing. The woman is desperate. That woman is very dangerous. That's not all. She also bribed Olivia's finance lawyer to help her write a fake will, which enabled her to seize the family's assets oh and liquidate the assets with the help of a dubious agent named Henry. I guess she's sensing failure. That's why she's desperate to bail out. Godfather. Um, Godfather, with all this information, why don't we blackmail her and get the money from her? Her husband. Secure the bulk of the money in Uche's account before she killed him. 
in the absence of Uche. The information we have shows that only Olivia can assess the money. That is if she survives in the village. Um, uh, Godfather, are you trying to say I should go back to Olivia? No. No. No, no. Clara's mom has over 300 million naira. That money should be ours. We are not going to use blackmail to get it. With little or no concrete evidence. It will take time which we don't have. Besides, we cannot risk frightening her into desperation. Um, Godfather, she's already a desperate woman. With everything you've told me, I mean, the lay is no longer a good option. We still have everything working in our favor. Let us get the money by exploiting her desperation to travel to America. Mm. Um, Godfather, how? How are we going to get our visas and our time to? Godfather, have you forgotten that I was deported from, from the States as a criminal? Don't worry, Andy. They will get the visas and on time too. You just go ahead and play along. Yeah. Just play along. Edward. <coughs> it's been four days into this audio. And you have refused to answer the simplest question I asked you. What question is that? Why are you going through this inhuman suffering with me? <laughs> Solidarity. Solidarity. You know, people talk about solidarity when they have things in common. What could we possibly have in common? Hmm. Again, you answer me with silence. Please. You know, that day we came to the village after Vincent died with my family. My father had told us that he wanted to take you back to the city and change your life for good. We all thought it was a good idea. He said he had discussed with you, and you had agreed. The next day, he came by your house to pick you. You were nowhere to be found. Why? Oh, please, please, uh, I, I'm thinking. Thinking about what? Tomorrow's flogging. Destiny can never disappear. Good night. What we make of it, so be ours to decide. Let's make this time a time of a life. Let's watch this time go by. Right inside of me, I feel you ah. surround. Ah. Right ah. inside of me, I know that I. Ah. Is he dead? He's still alive. He only fainted. Right. Oh. I am from our county so far. He has taken the 16th stroke today and the five of Olivia's own, right? 
Should we continue and complete it despite its condition? No. No. Just go inside and bring Olivia to take the rest. What did you do to him? What did you do to him? Edward. As you can see, Edward. your soldier is too weak to defend you today. Edward. Edward, what did they do to you? What have they done to you? Please get up. Please don't do this to me, I beg of you. Edward, Edward please don't do this to me. Don't. Uh, Olivia, as you can see, he wasn't able to take the whole stroke today. And we have decided to allow you to take the rest. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Come on. Talk. Please don't. Let, 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 let her. Let her alone. Let her be. I'll take the rest. No! You can't, you can't even did you know! Let's get done with the rest for today. He's, he's lying, I'll take it. I'll take it. He can't do please don't ah, take it. Come on, you don't have to wait. Do as he said. Yes, take her inside. No! No! Take her back! No! Stop it again! Stop it again! Um, after the accident, it dawned on me that um, any prospect of getting Chief or his company to partner with me in the contract had died too. Uh, luckily for me, um, a senator representing my area agreed to partner with me in the business. Oh, that's good. The Americans came in and the oil company gave me the green light to mobilize to site. Wonderful. Yeah, wonderful. But you see, there's, there's a problem. And that's where you call me. Me? Yeah, you. How? <laughs> I'm not a contractor, and I don't even intend to be one. All I want is to travel to America as soon as possible. Finish. Like I said before, I had already paid for your visas, and very soon they'll be ready. Back to the business I was telling you about. You see, the, the senator agreed to sign just the partnership papers with me and never to be involved any further. Um, the Americans, on their part, are offering only technical assistance. The oil company on our own part are said I can only get mobilization fee upon a full mobilization to site. And getting that done requires a huge amount of money. And I'm, I'm, I'm running short by 330 million naira. Huh. 330 million naira? Yeah. And getting such amount from the bank will take a long time. And that time is what I don't have because of the way you want to travel urgently to America. Honestly, I am not ready to go anywhere until mobilization is over. Else I lose the job. Only if, you know, you can assist me with, with the money. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I don't have that kind of money. Where will I raise that kind of money from? <coughs> well, mom, if you don't have... Um, <laughs> that kind of money to assist me. I'm afraid I have to call up the visa arrangement and wedding until I I raise the money for the for the mobilization. Well, uh, thanks for hearing me out. I appreciate, ma'am. Sweetheart, I beg to take my leave. Wait, 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 please, wait. Three hundred and 
20 million naira is all I have in this whole world. If I give it to you, where will I raise money for our travel and uh, the wedding plans in the US? Uh, no, I don't know how you see me. But I already see myself as a member of this great family. The company will pay me the mobilization fee as soon as mobilization to site is completed. You see, even at that, we don't have to wait for the money to be paid in my account before traveling to America. You see, the account I'm operating is one that I can operate anywhere in the world. As they pay the money into my account, I will refund your money back to you over there in the States, in dollars. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> why should you even think of sponsoring my wedding for me? I'm not a poor man, man. What do you think we should do, Clara? Mm, mm, mm. Mom, please, you just have to help him out. I, I love him so much, please. Please. No problem. I'll give you the money as soon as the visas are out. <laughs> oh, no, 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 sweetheart. You see, I, I don't have a problem with that. I'm good. So it's good making business with women like that. Anything down my throat. I don't think I can survive today's vlogging. Please, can you give me your own urine? Please, before these bastards come. <laughs> Now, please, I beg you in God's name. Please. Move. Please. Idiot. Fool. Please. Please now. I just. He's here. Our son, do you know what to do? Do it. No, I will not. Can you not see the condition of the man you're about to flog? Do you want to kill him? What's our business? If he dies? It is not your business. It is my business. His life is my business. <laughs> Olivia. No. I can't. No, no. no. Listen, Edward, you wouldn't. If you want to commit suicide, do it for yourself! Don't do it for me! Elders, I am ready to take the second option. Take both of us to the evil forest. Olivia, do you know what you're doing? I am saving both of us, Edward. My people. You heard her. Mm -hmm. You heard her well. Yes. Edward, is that what you want to? Youth! Beat him! No. I'll go with her. To, to, the, to the evil forest. Right. Uh, that is the business. It's not It's the business. You eat, see? It's better. My people. 
the preparations start immediately. I have come out and lock the cage. Let us leave immediately. We are entitled to a meal a day. Where is our meal for today? <coughs> On the way. Um, Omonando Baka. Take care of me. Hassan, let's go. Let's go. My husband took you to the hospital this morning. So, what did the doctor say about the convulsion he had last night? Um, he said um, an advanced brain scan is needed to find out why, and it can only be done abroad. Outside the country? At what cost? He didn't say, but your husband made it clear that he cannot afford it. Nothing is impossible if I talk to him myself. <sighs> you mean you can help me talk to your husband to pay for my trip abroad and for the scan? I have a need. And if you help me with it, I promise to help you with everything you need to get normal again. <sighs> Madam, please tell me. I am ready to do anything to be normal again. Just say it, but I'm ready to do anything. But I'm I'm ready to do anything to be normal again. <sighs> Sex. I need it so badly right now. <sighs> Jesus Christ, madam. My husband is so bad at it that I'm so starved right now. Please help me this once and I promise you I... Listen, don't even come close. Don't! Don't be silly guy. You're talking to a woman, you're living in her house, eating her food and... Please. Just help me this once. And I promise it will never happen again. Listen, madam, if you don't open this door for me to go out now, I use this thing to club you to death. You said what? I am not bluffing anymore. You start to the count of five. One, two, madam, three. Okay. Damn 
But I still went to the upside of us coming to stay here. Do nothing. Just do nothing. There's still food and water after 8,000 days of not eating anything at all. Hmm. This is better. Ah. Hmm. Frankly, you think so? Mm. Listen, enduring two days more to me is much better than one whole year. In this place, eating just once a day. Okay, this is done, you can stay alive. Hmm? You really think so? Hmm. Ah! 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 Olivia, 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 supposed to survive this for, for one whole year how god 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 The Zuluwale guys are genius. Honestly, if I'm not aware of that stuff, I would be fooled as well. <laughs> there's nothing to indicate that there's a fake. Yeah, it caused the Godfather a lot. I know, I know. Be careful. You see this deal? This deal must work. It must work, else we are done for. So that it will work. Trust me, it is going to work. But why is Godfather insisting that I wait for a few days before giving it to them? If it comes so early, they will become very suspicious. That woman might be very desperate, but trust me, she's certainly not the fool. That's true. And don't forget, until they give you the money, don't hand over this business to them. Of course I won't. I won't give it to them. Am I a fool? I miss you. I miss you too. So that you just have to wait a little while longer. Okay? It's gonna be okay. You know what we're working for. Something, please, mm -hmm. eh? Just eat small. I can't, I, please. I can't, I can't, I can't. I don't have appetite, please. Hey, Dodi, you know you have not eaten something. You've not eaten since, eh? Eh, you need to eat something, no matter how small. What, what could it be? Could it be malaria or what? Could be anything. Malaria, typhoid, you know, just anything. <coughs> <coughs> With all the beatings, eh? we are made to defecate just here, and you eat it. Nobody cleans it. 
the author alone is enough to kill a whole community. Father, we have not even had our bath since we were arrested. We cannot continue like this, so oh. We can't continue like this, so oh, Edward, we must do something. There's nothing we can do, my dear. But just to pray God that we come out of this alive. Okay. There's nothing we can do, please. I need, I, I need you to eat something, no matter how small. I need you to eat. I, I, look, I'm begging you now. Look, I put, I put water in the bread now. It's soft. Eat something, please, before you die here. Yeah. You have to eat. Please, now. Eat. You don't okay, drink water now. Drink water. At least you have small strength. Drink water. Drink something. You have to eat something. <laughs> hey. Jesus. Why? My head has this trouble. I want to give Olivia and Edward food. I found Edward seriously down with fever. That's why you are panicking. Did our culture say they must not die in the evil forest? No. Olivia begged me to help her beg you people to allow me give Edward some medications. Ah. Ah. Give who medication? Or oh, do you know what is wrong with him? You want to die? Let me tell you, the only thing our culture allows the wise suffering their punishment is a meal and water a day. Mom. That is the only thing. Mom. It could even be the gods doing their work. <laughs> who, I want, let me ask you, who in our history has ever lived after committing the type of abomination they committed? Nobody. No, tell me. Nobody. No. Okay. My elders, Adrani was found dead in his shrine with half of his body eaten by ants. On the same day, Okonkwa have agreed to, 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 to destroy Ngenedu and led us to the shrine where we found Olivia and Edward committing that crime. Kunkwa was later found dead in his house with his tongue dropping on the ground. Aha. A bag containing half a million was found beside him. Was a Kunkwa bribe to lie against Olivia and Edward? Who gave him that money? Where would he have gotten that money from? My elders, I want to ask, was he killed by the gods? <laughs> Me. Yeah, elders. You are still here listening to this very lunatic. I'm going to my house. America, here you come. <laughs> Your visas. <laughs> Remember we had an agreement, the money for the visas. Honey, I am your fiancé. I love you. What? what? I'm sorry that I love you so much. I truly love you. But this, this is different. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, Clara. I can see you no longer trust Clara and I. Ma, if I don't trust you anymore, I would have called off the wedding. Ma, you see, I need that contract. I'm sorry the way I sound, but I need that contract. What do you see? This contract is my life. That contract is our lives, our future. I need that money badly. I see. I'm sure I did not make her angry. Hey, you really disappointed me, Andy. What was the meaning of that? Oh, I was thinking you understand. I'm doing this. For... <laughs> there is nothing to understand. Like right now, I feel like I. God. Oh, there's no reason to justify what you just did. <gasps> Clara, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's not fair. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, Clara. Here is a check of three hundred and twenty million naira.
Clara, follow him to the bank. As soon as he crashes it, collect our visas from him. See, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I made you angry. But I swear I'll do everything to make it up for both of you. Okay? So that, come on, let's head up to the bank. the last money I have in this whole world. And you know what that means. You see, I... I love Clara. I love Clara so much. And um, um, trust me, you will smile at last. Seeing the truth, I am innocent. Sir, I'm seeing the truth, I am innocent. Officer, I don't care how much it's going to cost me. I'm going to pay you to detain this naked fool, this ingrate, this criminal indefinitely, without food or water. <laughs> Don't torture him physically. Just make sure he neither eats nor drinks anything until I say otherwise. <laughs> but, but sir, what if he dies? <laughs> I will pay you very well to dispose his corpse and for your troubles too. <laughs> okay, sir. Just consider it done. 
Move it. I'm happy because of God. For me, because very soon I am going to be a White House dinner guest. Yes, so mommy, am I not lucky to have Andy? <laughs> you are, my dear. You really are. Yeah. By the way, where is he? He left for Portacourt immediately. He said he wants to go and make sure his workers mobilize for work at the site. <laughs> it's too good to be. Ah. American visa. <laughs> So, when did he say we are going to the US? He said he's coming back in two days' time. In fact, he's coming straight here to pick us up. To pick us up and drop us off at the airport? To a travel agency to book our ticket. When we come down now, we are traveling in a few days' time. Oh, <laughs> oh God. This is so good to be real. Finally, go. Thank you. Hi. What do you have at home? I'm very hungry. Get the cooks to give me. Watu gomo, owa mo chineke, ebe kino. Hey God, Edward. Hey God, I thank you. You are awake. Uh, what happened? Edward, you passed out when you were trying to throw up for the past one hour. Edward, I have cried and. I'm going on my last train. <laughs> Again? Hey, Edward, I have no, no single strength in me again. I am exhausted. I'm sorry, stop crying. Stop crying, okay? Stop crying. Stop crying. Edward, it's not okay. I cannot allow you to die, Edward. I can't watch you die. There is nothing we can do. There is something I can do. 
There is something I must do and I will do it. I will go into another deal with the elders so they can set you free from any country. <laughs>
Somebody call me Godfather. The Godfather. <laughs> Andy boy, my Andy, who gets his share of 100 million naira. <laughs> Love it. You know your share. 50 million naira. Abum, the Godfather. Abum, my boy, you are ten million naira richer. Wow. <laughs> Eugene and Chimwe. The Godfather. The Godfather. You're just joining us. Of course, you get your share of five million naira each. Oh. The Godfather. We're just Thank beginning. We're just, just coming in. You're just coming in. <laughs> Thank, you Thank you so much, Godfather. Godfather. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give you a check. Oh, Andy boy. I mm. <laughs> oh, love it. Thank you, Godfather. Oh, boom. Yeah, he's a the check. Godfather. <laughs> Eugene. Godfather. Well done. Thank you, Godfather. You need to work harder, you know. I'll do that, sir. Godfather. <laughs> you were. Godfather. Here is your check. Thank you, Godfather. <laughs> Come on, people. Call me the Godfather. The Godfather. Call me the Godfather. The Godfather. I am the Godfather. The Godfather. I am the Godfather of this business. And now. Ladies and gentlemen, on a final note, we never met. We never met. Yes, sir. Understood? Yeah. Yes, sir. <sighs> well, <clears throat> after today's celebration, loving my wife and I, We'll be jetting out to South Africa. Jolly on, Thank you very much. Um, we're going there to settle down permanently. Good, good, good. Thank you. Good. Nice one, baby. is setting me up. My wife setting a non-entity like you up. Is that why you demanded to see me? After what you did, you now want to destroy my marriage too by lying to me against my wife. I am not lying to you, sir. You are. Officer. Sir. I'm getting out of here. So you plan to travel to the state capital today. And you intend to spend two days. Am I wrong, sir? My wife is the only one that has the information. How did you get it? Two days ago, I overheard her discussing with a man on the phone, telling him about your travel plan and was inviting him to come to the house today by 2 p.m. Why should I believe you? I was already on my way to the state capital when I got your call, telling me that you wanted to see me urgently. Why should I believe you? So if you don't believe me, go back home. Go back home and see for yourself. He was there the last time you traveled. Why am I even listening to this devil? Tell me, why would my wife set you up? Some days back, she went nude 
right before me inside your bedroom. She, she, she was begging me to make love to her. She told me that you were, you were bad in bed and that she feels sexually deprived and, and that she just... Excuse me, sir. Sir, he... Eh? You take care of him yourself. I paid you well. Hey, my friend, my friend, stop this pretense. Eh? Why didn't you tell me about it? Sir, Why? Sir, please take me back to my village. Your village? Yes. My village is Ezeri, in Abia State. See, sir, I made few calls with, with this officer's phone. Yes, yes, yes. And I could not reach any member of my family. The only friend that I called said that everybody, I mean, everybody died in the auto crash that I got injured. Sir, my only surviving sister is back in the country and she's presently in the village. Please, sir, I need to see her. Help me. I beg you, please. What is going on here? Uh, actually, sir, <coughs> he stopped conversing after you left and started talking this rubbish. Sir. Is he going mad? Officer, I am not going mad. It's okay, officer. It's okay, officer. You see, um, he suffered a memory loss. And my wife and I actually... Uh, Requested to see us urgently. I have taken the option of being buried alive. And that is for just one reason. Set Edward free immediately. Bring her out, Osami. Turn the cage back, Osondo. What? No! I said I took this option for his freedom! How? Set him free! How? His freedom cannot be negotiated or bought, Olivia. You have taken the next option, which is to be buried alive, so shall it be. For Christ's sake, he is dying! Can't you see? Let him go, please! Ubaka, stay here. Don't leave unless he dies. Okay, Che. No! 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 You can't do this! Oh, no! Oh, oh, no! Go! You said you spoke with him last night and he promised to be here this morning. 
In fact, that she'll be here before nine o'clock. That's this morning. Look at the time now. It's almost midday and... It's almost midday. And it's not here yet. My God. What on earth is holding him, eh? I don't know. I don't know. No. I love him. But I don't want there is to happen to him. <laughs> I know. Don't worry. He will marry you, okay? Mm. I think we have to go to his house and find out what exactly is the problem. See them here, please. To see Andy, my fiance, not you. Did you say Andy? Yes, yes, the one who owns this house. Owns my house? Ha! God have mercy on you. Are you the ladies my former git man opened my house for to mess around with a certain young man while I was abroad? Excuse me. What do you mean by that? The police will answer your question after I finish this call. Hello, Divio. Yes, Chief. They, they actually thought I was calling the police. <laughs> Chief Obi, the Godfather. How long, how long do you have to live here? Oh. Hey! Yeah. Edward! Do you think about tomorrow? Hey! Do you think about the future? Do you think about tomorrow? Hey. When you do all the things you do, you think it's about tomorrow. Yeah. Hey, stand up. Stand up! That's you, you, you don't die because of woman.
Please. We are ready for the event. Cover her up immediately and let us go for here. Cover up. Be fast, be fast. Uh, uh, and I'll pick it up when we need it. quickly. Oh, yes. Please don't do this. Help! 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 Please, I beg you the name of God. Vidas. 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 What happened? Vidas. Edward. Edward, what? Jesus. Edward. Edward. Edward attacked me. And escaped. Hey! Abomination. There is a problem, oh? Please. Leave Adela. Let us go. Hey! Please, please. Hey, don't move. Hey, stop. Don't move. Don't move. If you move, Sergeant Doe will take you far. Come, please come. Uche. Help me bring her out. Uche. 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 Destiny can never disappoint us What we make of it is only ours to the <laughs> Ah, we thank God for everything Andy is calling me Andy Okay, pick it Hello? Andy, why are you calling me? Where are you? He said that my uncle was killed and buried in the bush by his wife. Jesus Christ. He also gave me the names and addresses of the guys who helped her do it. And also said that they were the same guys that kidnapped you from the hospital. Jesus. Wait, wait, wait. God of mercy. Why should he be telling you all this? I have no idea. Is he not getting married to Clara again? Someone is crazy, I swear. God. We found this bag in her bedroom. Look at the contents. Uh, let's see it now. Jesus! Holy Moses. Jesus. Why would she keep such amount of money in the house? Maybe she ran away. Why? Ajuani and Okonkwo are dead. And from all we have heard, she bribed the elders. Can't you make anything out of this? Isn't it obvious? Um, officers, let me see that um, document, please. I knew it! 
I knew that the will read to us by Barrister Ike was a fake. Um, what's inside the document? This is it. This is it. This is Daddy's original will. This is the original will. It is all over for you. It really is. What is happening? Barrister. Barrister. Officers, take her out of this place. Take her out of my father's compound. What is the meaning of this? Madam, you're under arrest. For what? When we go to station, you know. You are the devil himself. You make me sick. Take this thing out of here. Nonsense. Stupid. Idiot. Let's go, let's go. Don't worry. I'll be back. I haven't seen anything yet. Devils. Those most more demons. Move, move, move. Hey. Move. Let's go. I was in my third year in the university when it happened. You know, son of a poor couple who had nothing but a palm plantation in the village to boast of. I went home one weekend uh, to watch a wrestling competition. Uh, right there, the prince saw me and challenged me to a wrestling bout. Now in my culture, you can never turn a prince down. If you do that, you have to buy seven goods. And there was that. We didn't have any goods. Talk less of money to buy goods. So I reluctantly took on him. Then tragedy struck. I threw him. He broke his neck and died instantly. My culture does not permit or prescribe any punishment for people like me for things like that. I mean, it was an accident and that was it. The wife put the king under pressure and the king now ordered that I go on a seven year exile. My father vowed never to let it happen in support of my king's men. But a day later, he was beheaded in a bush by unknown men. A week later, three of my king's men were brutally murdered in a very, very suspicious circumstances. Our house at home was burnt on campus. Court, deadly court guys planned to kill me. But I survived. I, I, I survived because one of them knew me and leaked a plot to me. So I escaped from campus. The king now forced my king's men to agree so that I'll go on exile for seven years. And from there, in all the four cities I went on, 
the king's assassins, they trailed me. The king paid them. His assassins and agents from one city to the other. Even when I got into the villages, the last village I went to where I stayed in Oshu, they traced me there and poisoned me. I came to your village because your village is hidden and I, I liked it. I've, I've been enjoying relative peace in your village until uh, the events that happened uh, uh, a few weeks ago. Hmm. Wow. Wow. What a story. What about your mother? Have you heard from her ever since? Uh, I found out that they were tracing me through my phone and uh, written uh, uh, communications to her. So. Uh, the moment I came to your village, I stopped all further communications, but uh, I think it's all over now. Because, I mean, I, I, I called home this morning. They said uh, the king is dead. He was struck by thunder while addressing the people in public. Uh, Besides, I have already uh, I served out my exile in old term just yesterday. Um, <clears throat> um, you know what? Um, I will postpone my travel to Israel tonight. Tomorrow, we all will go see your mother. We'll bring her to the city so that she can spend the rest of her life in peace. What? <laughs> Who will take care of her? I mean, I don't have a job, guy. <laughs> well, you know, all the fake liquidators have been arrested. And all my father's assets returned to us. So, Uche and I have agreed to make you a senior manager at the company. What? Yeah. <laughs> Most importantly, I've been keeping a secret from you two. I'm pregnant for you. Wait, you're what? That day at the shrine, I was overlating. You are pregnant for me. Yes. Let's make the start. My God. Time of a life. Let's watch this time go by. Right inside of me, I feel you so loud. Right inside of me, I know that I can say. Let's make the time.
washed us bang goodbye together. Together on our own, our own. Let's watch the spring goodbye. You could not say, you could not say. Oh no, oh no, yeah. Oh, let's watch the spring play. So, you could not say.